So we're here at Mobile World Congress, and who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. I'm the co-founder of Bookmate, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit quick, in, uh, quick overview of how Bookmate works on the Yoda phone. Uh, so we saw Yoda phone. We got pretty inspired by it. It's the first phone where you can push uh, all of your reading activity to a second screen and the ink screen on the back. So you did so, an app here, Android? Yeah, we developed uh, we developed a native app for an Android app for uh, optimized for the Yoda phone second screen. So here you can see Bookmate, you see a book here, you click on the book, open it, uh, you get text, clearly you read here, you can flip it to the back screen, and here you can continue your reading in a much more comfortable way uh, with, uh, with the e-ink screen that they have on the back. So, How long battery there? Battery this, I mean this gives you like 50 hours of reading, um, but the best thing about it is that basically you don't get interrupted, so you have your book open on the back, uh, then you continue with your other applications on the on the front screen, and it's a really natural way to read. So that's awesome. So Bookmate. Bookmate. Can you describe yeah. Bookmate? What what do you do yeah, with Bookmate? So, so Bookmate is a, is a subscription reading platform. Uh, it works on pretty much all devices. Uh, currently, we're in two markets. We're, for, we're in Russia. We've just launched in Turkey, uh, and we're rolling out to ten other markets this year. And we think that subscription reading is basically the way that people want to be able to read. And so you you pay like a flat. Fee. It's between five and ten dollars a month, depending on the market. Uh, and for that, you get basically access to to all of the contemporary uh, all the contemporary reading that you want. And this is the model that is the one. We don't want to have per book. We th we think it is. I mean, people when you when you st when you remove all of the friction. So you paid like uh, you paid your monthly subscription. You now you start reading. People, the way they read start changes quite radically. So people have many books open at the same time because you don't have to make a decision. Do I actually want to pay for this book before I start to read it? So people dip in. They build. We have like customizable bookshelves. You build your library on uh, online. You have it up there in the cloud, and it's basically there forever. So it's a much more actually it's a much more emotionally engaged way to come into reading. The whole like discovery side of it. You can browse books off other people's shelves. You can pull them off the shelf, add them to your shelf, and it's uh, it's just a very natural way to read. And so basically. On Unlimited reading. That's it's the, unlimited reading. That's there's the no whole. like premium content at all. No, all of it is there. It's so it's pretty much all there. I mean, we're adding. Currently, we've got uh, we've got about 90% of all the books in Russian. Uh, we're adding to our English language uh, to our English language catalog, like pretty uh, How many pretty actively at English? the moment. Currently, we have about 20,000 books, uh, and we're adding about you know a publisher a week at the moment. So, pretty optimistic by the end of the year we should have the a publisher. Good, each a good publisher library. has hundreds or maybe thousands. Of yeah, books. I mean it depends on the territories. I mean in the U.S., publishers are very reluctant to move to a subscription model at the moment. Uh, they're pretty comfortable with paper download, and a lot of people there are actually paying to download books. So, it's a it's a it's a model that they're not really willing to disrupt just yet. But for other markets, particularly emerging markets, where there's a lot of pirate content, uh, it makes a lot of sense for publishers to work this way. Plus, the amount of data that you get. I mean, when you're if you're just selling a single a single copy of a book, that relationship is is uh, tied to a single transaction. Whereas if it's a subscription, you understand every time somebody's opened the book, where they are, what device they're reading on, what kind of social interaction they're making around the around the book as they read it. So, it's a it's a much richer experience from the point of view of the publisher too. So uh, it's like the iTunes model is being replaced by the Spotify model, and that's yeah. kind of like uh, what needs to happen now. The Kindle model needs it's, to be replaced by Bookmate. I, th I think so. I mean, it's happened. Uh, it's, it's happened in music. It's happened with film, uh, and it's going to happen pretty quickly now with books. So there are a few services that are popping up. Uh, we're pretty advanced with it. We've been in the market already for uh, for three years, uh, and we're, uh, yeah, we're we're moving fast. Moving fast, and uh, the 10 markets, do you say anything about which one those are? Well, they're all emerging markets, plus we have one test market in, uh, in Scandinavia. Scandinavia is a pretty early adopter when it comes to subscription, uh, so we're, we're optimistic about our chances there. Which, which Scandinavian market? We're looking... Uh, secret? It's the secret at the moment. Okay. You're, you're I hope it's Denmark. You'll be the first to know. You'll okay, be the first to know. Nice. We're coming to, yeah. we'll, so it can't just be like worldwide? The, no, the rights are limited yeah, per the country? Are limited. It's not quite, it's not as limited as with music, um, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of market by market, and the the way that we the way that you look to come into a market with uh, with subscription, it gives you a lot more opportunities for monetization because you can go B 2 C, but you can also bundle with a mobile operator. So you can go with an M and O, B 2 B 2 C, and work 
with them to, to give a to give a, a value added experience to their uh, to their client base and, and actually to bring a billing to, to bring the recurring billing experience into a, into our application. What I think would be nice maybe is uh, get all the news and go out blogs maybe in and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about that or is it only books? Uh, no, no, just books. I mean, you don't really, want to do newspapers not and all, at all. that stuff. I mean, we're focused. Uh, we're focused really on on the reading experience on literature, uh, and literature works particularly when you're when you're working across all devices, and you need to scale the text to a particular screen size. Then it's uh, it's easier when you're sticking to literature. So we're just doing. We're focusing on doing one thing and doing it better than anyone else. Do you think there's any chance this year or next year there's uh, all of Europe and the U.S. market and all that? I don't think this year. I think that uh, I think it will be slower. Europe and the US will be slow to develop, but I think within the next two to three years, we'll start to see some valid subscription services getting traction.